So in today's vid, I'm going to do something a little bit different. If you like it, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to do a comparison between two cars that I've got. Um, this car hasn't been on the channel much at all. I think I've only done really one video of it in the past, in, in the old days. Um, but this car, I know it looks like just a Titanium X Mondeo Mark IV, but it's holding a little secret. So before I show you that, we're going to um, show you around the car, show you uh, the features it's got. We're going to compare it to the Zafira GSI to see which one's quicker. So this is the badge, the little tiny inconspicuous badge on the side of the car that tells you everything about this car. So the car is a Titanium X model, obviously it's a Mondo Mark IV. Uh, you can see really the only things from behind that sort of give it away. It's got a twin exhaust system on the back. What I want to do is get some back boxes on the back of this just to unleash that five cylinder turbo sand. So inside the car, it's got a nice luxurious feel to it um, as a Titanium X model should have. It's got all the options, all the extras. Um, what I like about this car, obviously it's got the push start button on it so you just depress the clutch and then you can hear that five cylinder noise so i'll give you a little uh rev as soon as it comes off of cold start um if you look around the car you've got all the options you've got sat nav um stability control sport control um one of the options that obviously all, all the fords had back in the day was the front heated windshield that not a lot of cars have these days so you can hear that from revving it that's the five cylinder sand so this is where the magic is on this car the good old volvo five cylinder um, turbocharged engine that you find in the focus sts and the ford focus rs um, I know that the Ford Focus RS has a slightly different bottom end, a uh, lot stronger, so it can take a lot more horsepower. But um, these engines are good for up to 300 horsepower. Um, the problem with them, they designed a plastic inlet manifold, and on high boost applications, these obviously start splitting apart. Uh, very poor design. So this engine is totally stock, other than I've put a K&N air filter in it, just to help that growl, that bit of response to low down. And I've also put some Focus RS um, spark plugs in there as well just to give it that better uh, responsiveness. So nothing else has been done to the car. I thought it'd be a good comparison to put this 2.5 five cylinder turbocharged engine, but in a heavier car up against the Severa GSI. Just see what is quicker acceleration as they're both stock, um, other than this one's got a panel filter and the Severa GSI has got a decap pipe. So other than that, completely stock cars. So this is a six speed model and out of the factory these come with 220 horsepower as opposed to the 225 horsepower on the STs. Five horsepower does make no difference at all. So a lot of people used to call this the Mondeo ST obviously because there wasn't an official ST version but this was the top top of the line top spec car. Um, not many of them come with 2.5 litre turbocharged engines. Um, I don't actually know how many was made I probably could find out. So I've got uh, an app that's going to be set up to record the times, the acceleration times of the, both the cars. So I'm going to do both the cars from the same speeds. So we're going to start at 20 mile per hour and finish at 70 mile per hour so we ain't breaking any laws. And we're going to time both cars to see which one accelerates quicker. So let's go for a drive. So we're going for a quick drive. I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, the five pot cylinder noise. So we're going to do a quick 20 mile an hour pull from second gear. So it gets on. So I'm not going to record why I'm doing it. Right, so we're at our usual private road. Um, I always do the testing that. You can see all the tire marks and that when I get around the corner. Everyone tests over here. So just turn the climate control off. I'm going to turn the stability control off as well. 
um, so it gives us into like a sport mode situation. So uh, the last pull that I've done, um, the time was 8.8 .8 seconds. So we're gonna check that now and see if we can beat that. So we'll reset that now and we'll go for another pull. So as it's a private road, I don't mind filming at the same time. So I'm gonna go from second gear around this bend and then floor it, see what we uh, get in the time. So there's a couple of bikers down here, so I've got to make sure I don't hit them. So we go for a quick pull. So 20 mile an hour, second gear, and a go. So the next test was nine seconds, the same speed. So we're looking at around 8.8 .8 to nine seconds for the uh, acceleration speed on this car. So we're going to test the Safira now. So onto the Safira, we all know this car by now. So you can see, totally stock engine. This would be a good test, two stock cars. Um, obviously, the um, Mondeo has a panel filter, that's it. And this car has a, a pre-cat, decat. Just about to see down there, it's been changed. So the front cat's been taken out of that. Stock air filter, you know, the, the cotton air filter that comes with them. Um, just a set of VXR plugs. Other than that, stock map. These cars are two litre turbos, in case you don't know, and they come with 197 horsepower standard, as opposed to the 220 horsepower to the 2.5 litre turbo. So then, let's take this one out for a spin, and we can test it, get some times, and see if it's faster or slower than the Mondeo. Right, so let's test the Sofia. We'll just pull over in a lay-by now. We're only gonna go up to the speed limit, obviously, um, breaking no laws or anything. So. Just reset it, you can see. So we're gonna do a pull um, down dual carriageway. So we're gonna go out onto a 70 mile an hour road. So obviously um, that's the speed limit. And then we're gonna do a pull. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna start from second or first in this car, so I'm gonna check that out. It's raining, you can see it's damp, just pulled out onto the dual carriageway. But um, you can see we're not gonna get much closer than that. 8.7. So these cars are so evenly matched, it's ridiculous. So one issue I'm having, obviously you can see it's raining out at the minute, so the traction control's kicking in a little bit on the Safira. Um, probably be better to do it on the dry day. But I'm gonna try and do a second gear pull and not let the traction control kick in. Hopefully you get no wheel spin and we can get a more even number. Wow, so how about that for an average? 8.7 on the second run as well, uh, in a lot less time. Um, traction control didn't kick in that time. I started from second instead of first. So 8.7 is what we're going with. So the Safira has beaten the Mondeo by, I mean, what was it, 8.8 .8 the fastest run, 8 point, uh, 9 seconds for the second run. And the uh, Safira pulled out two runs. So I'd say that was 8.9 for the Mondeo and 8.7 for the Safira. So the Safira wins by 0 0.2 of a second. That was a tight, tight challenge. So I'm gonna quickly do one more pull just to make sure that that weren't a fluke. So you can see it's been reset now. I'm gonna start in second again, and then we're gonna do another pull. The road is quite damp, so it is quite hard, but the traction control, I'm just trying to feather in the throttle, and it's all good. Final pull, the last pull in the car. I know I've done three pulls in this car, but you can see the average is very close in this car. 8.7, 8.7, 8.6. So yeah, completely stock, other than the decat, and the other one's got a panel filter. This one hasn't. So we're pretty equal. I think that's come out pretty well. So while we're in the car park, I found this beast hiding away. Um, I absolutely love these things, the way they all rivet together. Uh, Land Rover's uh, decision to make the new old cars uh, like these, brilliant, brilliant decision. Looks like an old truck from 1980s, but all rivet together, but it's not. So while we're in the Safira, I'm gonna go and get some gifts for some lucky subscribers to send out to. So we're going good old Tesco, see what cookies they got. Blimey, it's been a long time since I've looked at the cookie section. They've got every cookie flavour you can imagine now, but I'm going to just probably stick with the good old Maryland cookies. Can't beat a Maryland cookie. Um, you've got these new ones, these Fox ones, Banties, Cadbury's, the whole lot. But we're going to go with a Maryland. Um, no one beats a Maryland cookie. So that should be enough. I just emptied out the whole <laughs> box of cookies. So some lucky subscribers are going to get a nice packet of cookies to eat while they're uh, drinking a cup of tea and watching the videos in the future. Um, trim packs as well, so you can't go wrong. So I still have, after sending um, some lucky subscribers, some packs of cookies, I've got four packs left. Um, 
So the next uh, four people to comment in the comment section with their um, address uh, and th that they want a pack of cookies, I'll send a pack of cookies off to you and I'll sign them as well. So I'll get to sign in these four packs. Obviously these are, they're well in date, so plenty of time to eat them. And uh, tag me on Instagram if you get a pack and you're lucky enough. So every packet I send out is gonna be signed. So you know it's from me. I'm just gonna do it by total random. So if you don't get a pack, don't be disheartened. There'll be uh, giveaways in the future. If you get a pack, share me in your story and I'll share you on my profile. Uh, thanks for watching the video and getting to the end. So something I wanted to show you as well and let you know, um, I've got a first batch of t-shirts in. I've been testing that just to see how comfy they are and that I wouldn't um, sell t-shirts or anything if I weren't happy with myself. Um, this is the logo I'm going for. I don't know if it's going to be the final design yet. I've got different colours, different designs. Um, I can get rid of the performance or change bits around if I want. Um, but these t-shirts are seriously comfy. Um, if they become available or when they become available, I'll let you know. I'm also um, trying out some hoodies at the minute that haven't turned up yet and when they do, I'll show you them. So let me know in the comments section what you think.